So as said, let's go through once again this whole three sigma algorithm calculation and see where it will be a bit clearer for you. So first step, ratio span numbers. So calculate the ratio for every roulette number. Huh? You have a 37 ratios per number. This you should do every single spin. I already gave you some variables and hints how you might put together these variables. And I also recommend based on my knowledge then ratios should not be like 300 or 1000. It's good to keep the ratio something like 0 0.5 or 1.5 or 2.5 something simply lower because then it's much easier to put this co in the future conditions if you sum up the ratios for you and work with that step number two just create simple mean which means average simple average and boundaries so you take the all sorry some ratios you create average this is easy right <laughs> i think everyone can do that and if the simply average is uh, 1 and your sigma boundary is 68 percent you take 68 percent out of 1 which is obviously this one and it's obviously 0 0.68 and the boundaries are if you simply take 0 0.68 out of 1 this is 0 0.32 it's one boundary and if you add 0 0.68 to 1 it's 1.68 no? this is clear and as I said you can define your boundary even 100% from average or even more I'm using also quite often 350% boundary so sometimes of course you maybe don't have four numbers for play but it's some um, the way how you can do it and how I do that the third step is then you should pick out layers and play with them so you simply defined your boundaries 0 0.32 is one boundary and 1.68 the second one you are looking for numbers either having a lower ratio than this one or higher than 1.668 right if you find them for example it will be a group of six eight numbers maybe less and you sum up the ratios of the four numbers with the highest ratios from this group and if they simply meet your conditions for play and you're saying if I wanna have a if sum is higher than three I wanna play with these numbers then you put them into play um, and then as I mentioned here it's not the end so I re-evaluate all of these calculations including ratios including boundaries including outliers every single spin I simply do that because i want to know what's happening and sometimes you want to change even numbers every single spin if it is your strategy so on top of course i'm adding money management features like spins levels progression aggressiveness base bet variance parameter land all of this you know from all my apps or you can check it on my website what does it mean roulette4living.com is the website so as I said, I will calculate every ratios and candidates, every single spin. And I also test, I do really tons of tests and testing different ratios, calculations, testing money management, testing what is a sigma boundary can be and what is best entry range. All of this is taking maybe even weeks of time once you find something what you like the most and you wanna simply take your real money and go live your aim nonetheless your aim is to find the best possible setting for you with the highest positive banker after 1000 10000 spins and the lowest possible drawdown right that's your case because everyone can create only winning system if you say i have unlimited base but i can bet 500 to your per number and <laughs> these crazy values which is nonsense but if you want to keep it in a certain range, like say my maximum, my base bet is 20 cents and maximum bet of per number is three euro dollars. So this is what you are looking for. But you also want to see positive bankroll and lowest possible drawdown. I know you need some effort, you need some passion, education. Yes, it's not for everyone. I'm sharing this very strong three signal algorithm for you who are passionate, passionate about the online road. You want to try it out. You really have a faith then you can develop something meaningful 
if you play online roulette for predictions and I am pretty I would say living proof then it's possible and I would really encourage you to give it a try because it's worth it if you wanna really play a meaningful way online roulette and you aim to earn money I think this is the best way how you can do it because I'm sharing with you really great knowledge and I was thinking whether I should add this to the webinar as well but why not so I'm also using something what I call adaptive ratios boundary ranges so how I do that I calculate how many numbers did not hit in 74 spins right 74 spins you take and you calculate how many numbers didn't hit in this range sometimes you see that only one two numbers didn't hit sometimes you see seven eight numbers didn't hit in 74 spins and based on that I'm adjusting my ratios how do I calculate ratios is now more important non-hit or more important hit frequency for example so obviously you can see then if mostly all numbers hit in 74 spins maybe one is not hitting and obviously some numbers will start to repeat so it's probably hitting frequency more important than non-hit on the other hand if eight numbers didn't hit in 74 spins you might have a idea then non-hit is simply more important and you give it some certain weight you will simply increase the importance of a non-hit for your ratio calculation and this I do including adjusting sigma boundaries including uh, triggering conditions for play this and also adaptive way changing dynamically during a play based on numbers which didn't hit in 74 spins it's also great knowledge which I'm sharing with you and I think it's coming from a lot of years of experience which I have with the random number generator and it might be also interesting for you and here's an example here's an example and I just read it out so if eight or more numbers didn't hit in last 74 spins I adjust my ratio so as I said already I'm giving more weight of non-hit value when I calculate my ratio than for example hit frequency so also adjusting my sigma boundary in this case 120 percent and on top I'm changing my triggering conditions but these values are simply fully up to you it all depends how you calculate the ratios how big ratios will be and in which ranges they will be calculated so this is up to you but it's a hint for you how you can even make it better then you can really dynamically evaluate what's happening on a table and react on that based on statistics and probability because you can you can really see that and now listen carefully you if you are measuring 74 spins and you see then for example 10 numbers didn't hit you can be pretty sure that very very soon these 10 numbers will come at least some of them will come it makes sense then put certain weight on a non-hit and increase the importance of a non-hit value for your ratios because actually these 10 numbers are going to hit very soon I can tell you just observe by yourself and you will see maybe you will create some other system based on this secret message <laughs>